Here's my first pulverizer. Which unfortunately I'm starting to question having built that because I need some more beetles relatively quickly. Thankfully, they won't take too terribly long. But I'm kind of regretting my push against uh, Mackenzie 2 there now because it left me really fragile. Ugh. This is starting to take the turn for the worse, but hey. They were being e they were kind of easy to demolish before, so I guess a nice challenge isn't is in order. Gotta keep those things interesting after all, right? Let's see. Okay, that medium ship's basically gonna kill the pirates for me, I guess. Oh. And we got an oaf up there to deal with. So let's go greet him. Can I reach it? No. Sadly it can't, but now he can't get away from me. And I will need to get some more shipyards built. So swarms being built down there. Those are building a nice two turns, so I can get them relatively quickly. But I don't quite have enough swarms, I don't think, to kill an oaf. Actually, I could. Yeah, I can actually kill an oaf there. I'll take a little bit heavy casualties, though. So, let's see. Let me just move these things out and start grabbing some of the population. Let's see, how much is the cap? Nine. So I will grab four here. Do it again here. Put up to what? I have four, even though it's kind of... It is a little misleading because it automatically dropped down to 2.5. So I have 4. Let me do 6.5 and then NAR 2.5 will give me the full 9. And then I should be maxed out hopefully. I hope that worked. Let's see, 13.8, 13.8. So yeah, it worked out decently there. Because that should only be down, yeah, two and a half. So that'll repl that'll recover quickly there. Use my number of worlds to essentially minimize the penalty I'll have for taking the colonist. And now I just need a opportunity to actually take out that fleet. Damn, uh, I got my work cut out for me. I really do got my work cut out for me. Thankfully, they got no transport transport ships that risk uh, conquering my planet, so I should be okay on that aspect. So I'm gonna make that pulverizer wait. We got a bunch of swarmers coming down. So we got Terran Federation moving around. And where are those hopes going? Yeah, this is gonna go bad. How well does it go? Yeah, that sucks. I lost all my beetles in there. Well, there goes my plans on trying to blockade and fortify the location there. Now I did it. I may have to give up Mackenzie 2 again sometime soon, because I don't I'm pretty certain these moths are not gonna do the job. Even though the amount of mitigation they have is almost completely the same. And they have the same health, you would think I'd be able to take that out. Ah, oh, I just made a dumb mistake. This is gonna be awkward. I'm gonna lose my moss too. Cause I just because I'm overextended a little bit. And try to assault the McKenzie plant there without adequate forces, so we're going to be backtracking a little bit here, I think. And let's get that extra mine ring for extra duritanium. I will have to fall back, but I should be able to rebuild my beetles and, and any moss I lose there very quickly. So I'm not too concerned. Because so far, down here has been really good. I just need one more moth to fill it out. 
And I don't have to worry about anything. So where is that pirate ship? There's got to be one around here. Although it's entirely likely they may have killed it, so... I have no way to know, and that's the worst thing about... That's the worst thing about this, because I have no idea. They could be up in my blind spot up here, or I could just be wasting my time. I have absolutely no way to know. So, let's, I'll just try and get these ships to reorganize. Get as many of these swarms together as I can. Because that's going to give me six there. So not very strong. And hopefully... Yeah, because five oaks can easily take those out. So I need to be very cautious. Well, they took out the pirate ship or shipyard there. So I guess I should be thankful that when I later conquered her, the entire system. Oh boy. Now they're threatening me. Well, they were threatening me before, to be frank. Yeah, reputation is going down relatively quickly. Let's not even talk about these guys. They just straight up hate me. Eh. Huh. Everyone hates me. It's probably because I lost all my ships and now I see weak. Which is a bit of a shame. Hmm. Let me try and keep some trade going. Is that even possible? Oh, I already traded for them. That's probably why. So, who can I trade with, if anyone? And what can I trade? I have Duratinium. I could attempt to trade one negative one Zulium, but I doubt that's going to go well. Is there... Actually, I'm willing to trade the Duratinium, but is there anything I can get out of it? That's for research centers, resistant forces... Oh, they're willing to trade like a three-turn tech. So maybe I can get something a little bit more out of it. Can't get a five turn tech anyway, from the looks of it. If I were to guess. Shield enhancements? Nope. So we gotta find something ideal here, because of course they got like a million different techs. Can't imagine how they got that. Hmm. All their, their head start bonuses that they got. Stupid bots, but let's see. That increases soldiering, okay. Don't care about that too much. Can't get information warfare. Harpoons, wow. So, advanced missiles, 19 turns. Go figure. They just keep getting better and better. Tech over me. This is going to be a long campaign, isn't it? I'm just trying to find, see if there's anything... Significant that I can take. Like accelerate agriculture. I can't take that because it's too. It's not worthwhile for them. I want to see if I can get a turn four. Shield. Nope, can't get a turn four. Shield still flector. Because that would have been useful for my pulverizers at least. Can't get interstellar trade. It has to be a three-turn thing, huh? So what three-turn tech do I want? I probably want the resistance there. There we go. And that only... In 50 turns, I'll get the 13 back. And let's see, six turns... Six turns remaining, I'll get a Duratinium and Helios Ore back, so... That sounds good. Now... We need to figure out how the hell... Let's... Hold that thought. What was going on over here? Oh yeah, the influence center finished. We have a dead archives, which is completely useless here. But I want to leave it there, obviously, because I have no solium anyway. So that benefits me to leave it there. To an extent. Maybe not as much as it should. Yeah, research 40%, 40% of 
versus the 25 percent that doesn't seem more fun does it oh it's a separate stack that's why yes 30 percent after the 40 so that's probably why okay that makes more sense a little bit anyway I think the multiplies here is only what a little over devil So yeah, it seems like it's not mul it doesn't multiply it, it just adds it. So maybe it's not as big of a deal as I thought. I would probably get more research out of a uh, regular research center it seems. So what the hell is this thing good for then? Aside for the additional plus one of research, which as we already discussed is not doing me much good. But either way this thing's done. So I'm going to destroy that. Because I don't care about all this wasted resources and I can get a Duratini back out of it. Do I want a preparedness center though? Because I don't really have much... That enhance... Yeah, that affects my approval. So if I want to do that, I want to get rid of my shopping center. Which of course, I'm getting no income at all anyway. Oh, that's because there's so much penalty, that's why. If I'm going to build one, it's going to be up there. So maybe that's what I want to do. Get a preparing center up there. Well. No, that's not... That probably is... Hmm. It probably is a dumb idea. Because uh, by, that still has a ways to go before it caps out. But I can get some more... I can get another farm out of it at least down here and then start adjusting later on I would like to swap a farm over here then I could put in our entertainment center over there to help keep that going the sailings are sloppy disorganized with all how all these buildings are my my so what is that that's a trust we got four sailings to deal with and I need yeah I really do need to get my moths over there in case they're planning on attacking that starbase there isn't a lot I can do to protect Mackenzie too, I think. And I can kill that trust relatively quickly, so I should try it. Even if it is slow as molasses. What's the damage like? Only two damage, nice. And I want to be within reach. Oh, there's a pirate ship there. Do I'll let him come to me if he's going to attack at all. I need to be mindful of him. So five turns. Or five movement. So I should be safe here. But I want to be close enough to get to the starbase as needed. Okay, so I'm far enough away. That I can actually get there. Will let me guard. Hopefully I could just leave it there and not worry about it. That's what I would like. So that way I don't have to keep getting... Yep, I think that worked. I set the guard, so... I could just let it sit there. And my air pulverizer is ready. Time to set them out. I will not be content until I see that thing hopefully destroy a starbase. If I'm really smart, though, I would... Really, really try and get a third one. Just to be safe. But I need those beetles. Because I am in a lot of trouble. In theory, I should really demol- be Maybe? I have the armor, I just don't have the damage potential, so it's probably a- Maybe I have no way in hell. On the plus side, I can outrun them. Oh, maybe I'm- if nothing else, I could just kill everything else that's out of reach. Because, let me see, I just gotta keep in mind the amount of hexes it can move. And then be ready to strike when it chooses to go to my starbase. Because I need four beetles now, if I'm gonna deal with that. Damn, I lost those beetles really fast though. Really inefficiently. All that missile defense does accounts for nothing when they have like a hundred damage worth of uh, missiles. 
And I'll need some more beetles down here, but they're still in relatively good shape. So they can continue to clean up the mess as needed. Now I just gotta figure out what's idle. Three more. What's this? Why is there a stacked group of tw Why am I seeing... I don't understand what's going on here. Why am I seeing 12 swarmers here, but there's clearly 8? That's weird. A visual glitch of some kind? Only thing I could think of anyway. Either way, we got more swarmers. So I could take out a single oaf there, but they're not going to be able to do much else other than that. And will take us about three turns before the pulverizers reach their destination. So, can I get my beetles out before these four do too much damage? Because they are obviously coming after me, so I need to be very careful and start hurting them around, I guess. Just again, keep in mind the distance. Three. So I need to be careful. Yeah, just count counting out the hexes, just to be sure. And of course, meanwhile, I have to keep tabs on where everything is. Okay, this is Tracy 1, so obviously I want more swarmers. Because it's kind of too slow to build anything else useful, so... If I have these building swarms for me, then I don't really need to worry about Miranda production fo can focus safely on beetles as well as Secleon whenever I feel like it. And that will supplement my auxiliary forces. There, now I can, if only I can get one more there to fill out that pack. Heck, I'm about to get like 10 more logistics, like logistics so I can practically get four, maybe five. Well, I should easily be able to get five in there because some of them cost one. Let's see, it's 11 for 18, so yeah, I can easily get like six, seven more. Mainly. So our first beetle's out. Our second one's soon to be there. Can I move this? Yeah, I want to move this to somewhere more aggressive. Since it's already set, the shipyard's already set to that rally. And then that way I can easily rendezvous with this beetle. Because those things are fast enough as is. Yeah, I am really happy with that choice, gaining that double movement. And it even has, what, a crazy... It has that ref... Does it actually tell me what this movement speed is? I know it's called... I think it would call the ludicrous speed. In reference to space balls. So I can happily accept that at least. And thankfully no one else benefits from it, so... Going in debt for half a turn, well really I could have paid for it right away, I just had no idea what would happen if I went broke, so... Being able to pay that off is worth it. And this is probably a horrible mistake, but I am willing to give it a try. Because I need to know if these things can do the damage I expect of them. Because there's a lot of star bases to destroy. So let's enjoy the fruits of my labor. Once it decides to load. And I am going to be hoping to death they do not uh, fail, uh, fail horribly. So. I'm going to try. Oh, I can rotate the camera at least, but it follows that. Yeah, it just turns it. Come on, this ship, these things are slow as hell, I gotta say. You see? I gotta speed this up. Hopefully they can reach it sometime soon. What the hell is going on? Yeah, that rotation is really weird, I gotta say. They're leaving a suspense quite a bit, I gotta say. Who would have thought they'd give us such range? What the hell just happened there? Well, that was impressive. A bit of scatter fire, but impressive nonetheless. 
Now that's what I'm talking about. Now if only I can make it that it can fire constantly like that. That looks like a lot of firepower. How's damage looking? No damage at all. It's gonna be a slow process, of course. Whoops. A little bit of jarring camera again. I can already be happy with these. If only it didn't have that awkward 360 degree shooting there for the lasers. In exchange for more power in the front. Alright, shipyard should be dead. If not just about. There we go. The field test has been a success. We did take 55 points of damage, so it's not the most optimal. But we took out a starbase relatively easily. With. Wow, what the hell? I saw it said I took 55 points of damage. That clearly does not look like 55 points of damage. Or do I need new glasses? That's entirely possible too.